this is becoming a regular feature. I'm at Tipton Family Church, everyone's now gone and I'm going to share just briefly the highlights, if you could use that word, of my sermon this morning, the points of what I spoke about. I saw a documentary a few days ago about Fleetwood Mac. First of all, there was one about Peter Green, who was the founder, and then he went into the members of Fleetwood Mac themselves, and they were talking from the angle of today, looking back, and it was particularly about the relationships that existed between them. And on the surface, Fleetwood Mac, well, very well-known band, the songs they produced are, are classics, although it's not my particular genre, I can recognize that they are you know, extremely popular and well-liked songs and they would have all that fame and the glitz and the glamour that goes with it. But away from that, behind the scenes, emotionally, they were broken. They went from relationship tragedy to relationship tragedy in their own individual lives on a regular basis. And even in the band, for example, and they were all talking very openly, very honestly, looking back so it's not gossip or rumour or people who are talking from their angle and it doesn't match up with what the others say. It all tied in nicely. And there was Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. They were together. And she started a secret relationship with Mick Fleetwood, the drummer. That developed into something serious. So she left Lindsay Buckingham, moved in with Mick Fleetwood. And then he started to see her best friend, Sarah. And then Sarah left her husband to move in with him. And she moved out. And the song Sarah came as a result of that. And the friction between Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks continued and does continue to this day. They said that they don't know if they will ever be able to deal with some of those things that went on. And he wrote the song, Go Your Own Way, which has a line of shacking up. And she said that she hated that because that wasn't true and he knows that wasn't her intention. And yet she sang that song that he wrote, basically having a go at her. And there were so many of their well-known songs and tracks that were about their relationships and having a pop one at the other. The song Sarah, as an, as an example there. And they talked about the communal bag of cocaine that they had that they needed to dip into just to get themselves through the recording sessions at times they were together. Stevie Nicks spoke about her own drug addiction from the mid to late 70s. They went right the way through to 85 when she went through the Betty Ford Clinic. And then she said her psychiatrist put her on tranquilizers. <coughs> the, the tranquilizers were worse than the cocaine in terms of the personal effects that he'd had upon her. My sermon today was drawing a few verses from the Bible that talk about, is it worth the fame and the fortune for all the baggage that comes with it? Now, it might be that the plan for your life is to be famous. It is to be recognized and well-known. That's okay if it's the plan. But if you're part of this, I suppose, TikTok generation, Snapchat generation, Instagram generation, where people are desperate for fame. They're desperate to be recognized. They will do anything to become famous. Well, that's another thing altogether. It's better to live a simple, ordinary, easygoing life than it is to have the fame, the fortune, the glamour, the glitz and the money, and yet carry all that emotional baggage and heartbreak and heartache along with you. I guess the message essentially was be happy and contented with your lot and with who you are. Yes, we can become ambitious. There's nothing wrong with ambition. <coughs> There's nothing wrong with wanting to make the most of your life. But we have to look in the right places and seek the right things. Happiness and personal contentment 
is far more of an admirable goal than fame, fortune, money, glitz and glamour because often with those things comes a lot of excess baggage as well. Be happy, be contented and be fulfilled with who you are and what your call and place is in life.